Hello, my lovely friends. My name is Ava, and today we're going to be talking about the 20 ebooks that I ended up downloading in the month of June. So, last month I ended up downloading quite a few books for free and on Kindle Unlimited, so let's get started. The first book that I ended up downloading was Her Husband's Harlot by Grace Calloway. This is available to purchase now for $4.99 if you're interested. After a disastrous wedding night, proper Lady Helena Hartford fears for the fate of her new marriage. Disguised as a doxy, she tracks her husband down at a body house to reason with him, and instead discovers the thrill of forbidden passion, an innocent ruse turns into a risky deception. How far would this wallflower go to win her husband's love? Orphaned at an early age, Nicholas Morgan escapes his violent beginnings to become a successful merchant, only to discover that he is the legitimate heir of the Marquess of Hartford. His transition to the ton is rocky and made rockier when he marries above him. Torn between guilt and lust, he tries to protect his sweet, innocent wife from the demons of his past. But can he safeguard her from his own raging desires? When a disastrous nemesis rises from Nicholas's past, husband and wife must work together in order to survive. From the drawing rooms to the stews of Regency London, they find themselves caught in a game of passion and seduction. Will true love prevail or is Helena destined to remain her husband's harlot? I then downloaded Capturing the Bride by Samantha Holt. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited, or you can purchase it for $3.99. She'll do anything to escape her betrothed, even if she has to plot her own kidnapping. Grace Beaumont is desperate. Set to be forced into an arranged marriage to a depraved man, she's out of options. Calling on the Kidnap Club, an elusive group of men who specialize in helping women escape dis difficult situations, is her last resort. She never thought she'd end up hopelessly attracted to the rake who kidnaps her, and yet she is. Lord Nash Fitzroy doesn't get emotionally attached to anybody. He especially doesn't get attached to the women he rescues. He's a protector, a defender, and an occasional shoulder to cry on, that's all. But the longer he spends with the quick-witted Grace's company, the more he finds himself struggling to maintain the professional distance he needs to do his job and protect his heart. She's in trouble, he's a rake, with troubles of his own, they aren't looking for love, but what will Grace and Nash do when it finds them? I then downloaded Kissing Olivia Winchester, an LGBT romance by Athena Simone. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited or you can purchase it for 5.30, I think. When Joey was asked no force by her mother to work at a kissing booth, she had dreaded it. It was one thing to have her dolled up and wear uncomfortable clothes for a day, but to have to kiss a bunch of strangers too, it was the last thing she wanted to do. But when the most popular girl at school comes to her booth to get a kiss, she'd be lying if she said she didn't like it. Kissing Olivia Winchester, however, is not as simple as it seems. Soon, Joey will find herself thrown into a world of drama that she isn't really sure she could handle. Next, we have The Duke She Married by Jesse Clever. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited or you can purchase it for $4.99. Orphaned and destitute, Lady Amelia Atwood must marry to save her family from utter financial devastation. Lost between her sisters, neglected by her father, and scorned by her mother, Amelia learned being close to people only brought her and loneliness, and she avoids them at all costs. But if she wishes to save her sisters, she must sacrifice herself to the ghoul of Greyfair. Disfigured by the fire that killed his wife, Lucas Bennett, the Duke of Greyfair, hides in his remote island castle, avoiding the rumors that suggest he murdered his wife. But when his need for an heir drives him from his lair, he strikes a bargain with the desperate Earl of Biggleswade for the, ba for the hand of his daughter. Lucas's plan is simple, but he'll soon discover she's not the timid, how do you say that word? Debut, de, debonte, debutante, debutante. Oh my gosh, can't believe I did that. That was debutante. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Soon he'll discover she's not the timid debutante he's been bargained for. That sounds so good, honestly. I'm really excited for that one. I then have Taming Sally, a steamy Ennies to lovers romance by Catherine Tremel. Tremel is still available to download for free. Ryan Dawson's lover got fired because of his boss's daughter, Sally Gonzalo. Now he's trying to make her pay for forcing her to be his new lover. He would use the young woman's secret to tame her into becoming his pet. 
but what would happen if he discovered that he wronged the very person who wished to protect and truly loves him? This is a short novella. It's like 73 pages, so I'm excited for that. I also included on this list some of the books that I downloaded off of Kindle Unlimited in the month of June. So one of them is The Soul of a Storm by Sandra Suku. Suku, this is available off of Kindle Unlimited or you could purchase it for like 99 cents, I think. Um, I downloaded this simply because um, I'm really interested in the second book in the series because I think it has disability rep. So I want to read book one first. Andrew Charles Storm, ninth Earl of Hadley, has been in a monstrous temper for the better part of two years, unable to join the fight against Napoleon due to the declining health and subsequent death of his father. His rotten mood worsened when his two brothers survived the war with life-changing injuries. Ashamed, Drew retreats to his country estate in Derbyshire to spare them his ire. Why the devil was he not worth more than his title? Miss Sarah Copeland is a poor relation. In exchange for room and board, she becomes the governess to her great uncle's two rambunctious offspring. It was better than being tossed in the street, but only just. Freedom and imagination are found in playing a flute, especially since dreams of her future died long ago. When she meets her handsome, growling neighbor, she believes she's finally found her purpose. After all, didn't music soothe the savage beast? While Drew battles with his guilt and anxiety, he finds safety and solace in Sarah's company. As they enter into a surprising marriage of convenience, the Earl's temper slowly begins to improve, as does her outlook. But while an expected romance blooms over the summer weeks, responsibility to the title rears its ugly head, and his temper flares anew, threatening to tear apart everything they've built. Only patience, trust, and love will see them through to a happy ending. That sounds really good. Um, I'm really excited for this. I feel like I could really love this one and the next book in the series too. I then downloaded Savage in the Touch by Milana Jax. I saw stuff from Virgo Reader on Instagram talk about this one. So I was very interested in it. I got this off of Kindle Unlimited. You could do that too, or you could get it for $3.99 if you don't have Kindle Unlimited. Blowing red eyes, pointed teeth, and claws demolish everything in our village, as well as my hope to escape with my sister. There's nothing we can do except wait for their departure, hoping they don't take more than what we give. The savage demands are swift and foreign, as is the hunger in their eyes. He only watches me and the fire in his gaze burns brighter the longer he stares. I'm beginning to think he'll never leave, or if he does, he won't go without me. Next, I downloaded Silent Luc Lucidity? Lucidity by Tiffany Roberts. I love Tiffany Roberts and this book was free one day and so I downloaded it. Um, it's available off Kindle Unlimited now or you can purchase it for $4.99. It's the first book in there, the Infinity, Infinite, Infinity, Inf Infinite <laughs> City. Man, I can't read. Infinite City series. He's an alien assassin who's never known a female touch until hers. That tagline alone has me interested, okay. Abella hasn't allowed four years of slavery to break her spirit, but after numerous failed escape attempts, the chances of making it home to her family seem bleak. That is until she shares a passionate forbidden dance with a silent stranger. His piercing silvery eyes haunt her with a taste of hope. Intense, mysterious, and deadly, 10th feel may be the key for Abella's freedom. But as she finds herself increasingly drawn to him, she realizes the truth. Tenthil has no intention of taking her home. <laughs> so excited to pick up that one. I then downloaded Trucker um, by Jamie Schlosser. I love Jamie Schlosser. And this was free one day. And so I picked it up. This is the first book in her The Good Guys series. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited now, or you can purchase it for $2.99. Angel, I know what you're whispering in the car when you pass me by. Hitchhiker. When you see me walking along the side of the road with my thumb up, you'll probably keep driving without giving me a second glance. You'll probably think I'm foolish, naive. You might assume I've made some bad decisions. You might think I'm too young to be on my own. You might be right. Travis, I love my job, but driving an 18-wheeler comes with a certain stereotype. When you hear I'm a trucker, a specific image comes to mind. Uneducated, dirty, perverted, rough around the edges, a bit dangerous. But the truth is I'm not any of those things. In fact, I'm pretty far from it. You'd even be surprised to find out I'm one of the good guys. I just love Jamie Schlosser's writing. So I hope her contemporary romances are as good as her fantasy ones because I really love her fantasy ones. I then downloaded book three in the Horde Kings of Dakar series by Zoe Draven, the madness of the Horde King. Um, so this was on Kindle Unlimited or you could purchase it for um, $3.99. I'm not gonna be reading the summary for this one because it's the third book in a series. And so yeah, it's an alien romance series that I 
love. I can't wait to read this one. I then downloaded I Married a Naga by Regine Abel off of Kindle Unlimited. You could also purchase it for $3.99 if you're interested. This is one of her books, a part of the Prime Mating Agency series, um, Monster Romance alien romances. When Serena comes to Trangor to participate in the first hunt, the last thing she expects is to find herself forced to marry an Ordosian or be executed. She knows nothing about his people, nothing of him, except that he's got fangs, scales, and a crazy long tail. Serena only has to play the part of being a wife for six months, but Cesaro seems to have other plans. He's big, intimidating, and definitely not human. Yet, how could she remain indifferent when he does everything to please her? From the moment he lays eyes on Serena, Cesaro is fascinated by the delicate human female. Deceptively fragile in appearance, she's a fearless and skilled hunter. The lingering taste of her scent on his tongue is intoxicating. Claiming her to save her life is no hardship for him. Overcoming their differences and convincing her to stay willingly is a challenge he relishes. But will that prove more than either of them can handle? I'm really excited to read the rest of the books in the series. I really want to read all of them before the end of the year. I then downloaded The Beast by Jenica Snow. Um, this is a Beauty and the Beast monster romance um, novella that I've heard great things about. That's all I know about it is that it is a Beauty and the Beast retelling that deals with monsters and I'm really excited for it. It's on Kindle Unlimited and um, I'm very excited to pick this up soon. I also downloaded Titan, a gargoyle daddy dom romance by Jillian Graves. I've downloaded this off of Kindle Unlimited or you can purchase it for $3.99. This just looks so good. I'm so excited. Um, when former child star Juliana Novak loses everything to her shady managers, she'll do whatever it takes to win her independence back, even if it means rushing to find a new sugar daddy. When Titan, a wealthy businessman, makes her an offer she can't refuse, she soon realizes he may not be what he seems. His curved horns, massive wings, and ribbed prehensile is that a word? Prehensile tail are, however, more than she ever bargained for. Leader of the last surviving gargoyles, Titan knows what desperation looks like and he recognizes it in Juliana. The heavy weight she carries is one he's able to bear and one he finds he wants to. Juliana needs a daddy and Titan is ready to be the firm hand and more she needs. When his missing supernatural artifact and her financial troubles unexpectedly align, Titan and Juliana find that a single night together won't be enough. Confronted by old enemies and diverging paths they once followed may no longer be the destiny their hearts desire. I then downloaded Daddy Bod by Margot Scott. This is available off of Kindle Unlimited or you can purchase it, I believe, for 99 cents. Okay, so the summary for here is very long. So I'm just gonna be reading the tagline because I don't feel like reading all of that stuff. Like that is long for a summary of a 70 page book. If you have a 70 page book, your summary should not be like over 100 words, honestly, <laughs> or over 300 words. That's what's here. Um, so author's note, slip into something spicy, the brand new daddy size series. Bursting at the seams with curvy heroines and older daddies who can't seem to keep their hands themselves. Daddy Bod is a fast and filthy age gap and still love romance featuring no cheating or cliffhangers, but guaranteed AGA. So there we go. I then downloaded for free Wrath by Gwen McNamee. Um, this is still available to download for free. I thought we had escaped my life in the mob. I was wrong. Odyssey is red, blood, pain, rage. It consumes me. The moment he took her, wrath invaded my soul. I only have one purpose, end him and take back what's mine. They trained me to be a killer. Now they'll see just what I'm capable of. Love isn't always clean and wrath is the deadliest sin. Next, I downloaded Welcome to Your Life by Karina Marie. This is still available to download for free. This is one of the authors I'm going to be meeting um, at Wanderlust in, um, September. So I saw one of their books were free and so I picked it up. Pregnant and Alone, that's not how I expected to end up after high school. Jake wants me back, but I don't want that toxic relationship. We aren't good together and this baby isn't the reason we should work things out. Between work and school, I barely have enough time to figure out what I wanted to do. That is until I'm paired up with a hot guy in a class for a project. He's slowly working his way into my heart, but I'm pregnant and trying to adjust to my new life. How can he actually be interested in me? With Jake home from college, he's doubling his efforts, especially now that he sees me with a reef. I have decisions to make and it's not about me anymore. Then I downloaded Don't Speak by 
is it Diane? Diane Lane? Diane? I've never I've never seen that name before, so I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, this is available off of Kindle Unlimited, or you can purchase it for $4.99. I downloaded this one because this is one of the authors I will be seeing at Wanderlust, and this one sounds so good. Like, it sounds so good. I can't wait to pick this one up. The heart always knows what it wants. Molly wants him, he wants her. She loves him the mostest. Aiden loves her more. Even though she shouldn't, he hears the whispers, nothing but a tragedy, a freak who hasn't spoken since he was five, and her stepbrother. The heart always knows what it wants. He loved her anyway, but the world isn't safe. The nightmares are real, the boogeyman exists, and somewhere he's still out there waiting. I then downloaded Birching His Bride by Golden Angel. Um, this is still available to download for free. A reluctant bride in arranged marriage, a stern lord with a hard hand. Lady Eleanor Petersham knows exactly what she wants from her marriage, a man who will worship her at her feet. Instead, her father marries her off to her brother's best friend, the devastatingly handsome, authoritative and devilishly dominant Lord Edwin Hyde. It doesn't matter that he makes her entire body tingle when he kisses her or brings her to heights of pleasure she never known or how he disciplines her when she plays nasty tricks on him, like throwing a dinner party, which only includes dishes with ingredients he despises. She's not willing to give up on her version of marriage without a fight. Pain and pleasure struggle for dominance the same way husband and wife do in this relationship. And the last book that I ended up downloading in June was Caveman by Frankie Love. This is still available to download for free. One minute I'm in an underground cave on a special ops mission. Next thing I know, I've traveled through time. My life became prehistoric pretty damn fast. I may have fought the bad guys in the military, but now I have new enemies, woolly mammoths and saber-toothed tigers and no other humans in sight. Five years later, I'm still stuck here, lonely as hell with a bright yellow bird. I've named Polly to keep me company. What I really want is a woman. With a flash of lightning brings rain. I'm worried about my fire going out. Turns out that's the least of my concerns because there's a new storm in this paleolithic place. Her name is Skylar, a gorgeous force to be reckoned with and she's plenty pissed to be stranded here with me. There you have it. Those are the very many books that I ended up downloading in the month of June. Please let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. And if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me any cat emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day.